the entry to parking where you pay, what is it, $6 to park a car? We are at the Barber Park at the launch site. It has been filled with people before. But not right now. So we're real lucky we can just walk right up and grab a pump. I wanted to show everybody this right here. There's two different pumps. These right here are cleaned off. And these right here, sometimes people have put tape on them. Now they do that so that they can fit in the nozzle of your boat while you're airing it up. If you're airing up a lot of boats, you'll discover why that's important. So if you ever see that and you think, I don't need that on there, please don't kindly clean that off for everybody. It doesn't need to be cleaned off for anybody. And uh, right now, I'm gonna move my boat over here because I need that tape on there to air up. So, let's grab the fish hunter and drag it over. So this is what I wanted to show you about these nozzles. You stick this in here, I put this in here, it doesn't get an airtight seal. This, this works. Right. This is going to work a lot faster and you're going to be tight airing up when it, you, don't, you don't want it to be loose while airing up the boat. It's reached a point where it's starting to really take shape, so you kind of want to shake it out a little bit and help it so that it can inflate right. And uh, it just takes pressure off the rubber. Now, another thing is that as I'm airing it up, I'm gonna make it tight. If it's not tight, it'll lose that, that little bit of pressure. Nice. The whole boat will go just go wobbly, and it'll start stretching on the rubber, and it'll just really start ruining the boat. So you wanna get it tight, but not blow up your boat. Kinda wait until it's there, and then you'll see it just kinda, just kinda stretch out just a little tiny bit when you're there. Don't stretching it, it'll just blow up. Here's what I mean. You can kind of tell. Let's see if I can get in here and see if you can see it. These ripples right here, they'll show you. When they start tightening up, that's when you're getting tighter. That's when you know that that you're going to be all right. You want to watch your bubble too. You top here, that back part there, that's a... Uh... Oh shoot, what am I shooting? <laughs> This part here, that will bubble up, and you gotta watch that and make sure that it uh, it doesn't stretch and get huge. So those are just a little couple things of how you know your boat's full and uh, not too full. All right, so I'm doing the undercarriage of the boat. It has these cool little pontoons on it, but it has these different nozzles. So I'm using this to show you that it works, and you just gotta use both hands. Stick it right up to it. So if you're up there in the sun, airing up your boat, you're gonna notice when you get on, that's hot enough to burn your leg. When you get on, just make sure you throw some cold water up there. You don't want your kid to jump up there and burn his leg. You want everybody to have a good time. Cool it off with some water, it'll be nice and safe for everybody. We're in the boat, we're ready. You can let go right there, man. All right, uh, we're gonna shoot right across the river right over here and we're gonna go see if we can find some fish. Be safe, everybody. <laughs>